In this example, we have a plant controlled by a proportional derivative controller. The proportional and the derivative gains are, are functions of k, the same value. And we are interested in the value of k that it gives a percent overshoot of less than 5%. A percent overshoot of less than 5% is basically another way to say that we want the value of k so that the damping ratio of the system is set to a given value. And that a given value can be found through the expression percent overshoot equals to 100 exponential of minus pi zeta, the damping ratio, divided by square root of 1 minus zeta squared. The percent overshoot that we want is 5. And then now when we equate this expression, we can solve for zeta. I think at this point, I can skip these calculations. This is very simple math. And just give the value of the zeta that we are looking for, that is 0 0.69. So by saying that we want the system to have a percent overshoot of less than 5%, we are saying that we want the damping ratio to be equal or greater than 0 0.69. That is the same statement. We're going to do this analysis using the root locus analysis again. So to that, we need to find the characteristic equation and we need to put the characteristic equation in the standard form for root locus analysis. We need to simplify this block diagram first, but this is relatively simple. If you look at this speed forward loop, this is easy to solve. We have k plus k times 0.25s. This corresponds to this part of the diagram. And this part of the diagram now can also be simplified. This is now a feedback loop. So we have the line function divided by 1 plus the line function times the feedback function. This is again very simple calculation. I will just give the result here 10 over s squared times s plus 10 plus 10 times 2.5 s, so plus 25 s. So now the characteristic equation is simply the multiplication of this and that plus 1 equals to 0. So you have 1 plus k. Factoring out here, we have 1 plus. 0.25s times 10 divided by s squared times s plus 10 plus 25s equals to 0. On top here, we can now multiply out 10, so 10 plus 2.5s, and factor 2.5 out. So we have 1 plus 2.5 times k times 4 plus s. In the denominator, if you now expand this expression here, you will see that this whole thing will simplify to s times s plus 5 is squared. Simple math equals to 0. This way, we have an explicit representation of poles and zeros. Now that we have an expression written in the standard form required for root locus, we can start to draw it. Here we have two, three poles and one zero, a pole at zero, two poles at negative five, and one zero at negative four. So in this case, m minus n equals to two, and that means that we have two asymptotes at plus minus 90 degrees. The centroid of that asymptotes are 0 minus 5 minus 5, sum of all poles, minus sum of all zeros, negative 4, divided by 2, and this is negative 3. Now I can start placing poles and zeros on the S-plane. We have a pole at 0, and you have two poles at negative 5. We also have a 0 at negative 4. The centroid of the asymptotes are at negative 3, and the angle of these asymptotes are 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees. The root locus is to the left of a not number of poles and zeros, which means that this pole and this zero have a match. The pole goes to the zero. And these two poles now use the asymptotes. One goes up, the other one goes down. 
the question that we started with is what is the value of k so that the percent overshoot is less than 5%, which is the same as saying the damping ratio is greater or equal to 0 0.69. Now here to solve for this, we'll use the same approach you used in the last lecture. If we trace a line starting at the center of the S-plane, the angle here is a function of zeta, and any point along this line, we have the same damping ratio. The damping ratio is 0 0.69, so theta is sine minus 1 of 0 0.69. Theta is around 43 degrees. So this angle here is 43 degrees. So any point that lies on this line now has a damping ratio of 0 0.69 and will provide an overshoot of less than 5%. Of 5%. We need to find the value of k, so to do that, we first need the value of the pole. The only pole that corresponds to a damping ratio of 0 0.69 is now found at the intersection of the asymptote and the line of constant damping ratio. Again, this is an approximation. Of course, if you look at this area here, this approximation doesn't hold. But as the poles become tangent to the asymptote, then we can assume that they are pretty much the same and I'll simply consider the intersection between them. The value of S does is here. What is that value of S? We have an angle of 43 degrees. So we can write now that at the tangent of 43 degrees equals to this distance here. Let's call that X, which is 3. Yeah, the centroid of the asymptotes here is at negative 3, which is alpha, divided by this height here that I'm going to call y. And now solving for y gives 3.114. This is this height. Now the coordinate of the pole is simple, is negative 3, this distance, plus minus 3.114j. So to recap what we just did, the problem is specify a maximum allowed overshoot from which we determine the damping ratio. Using the damping ratio and the root locus analysis, we find that this is the pole that it gives, that it meets that requirement. Now what is the value of k? To find the value of k, we now need to analyze the characteristic equation and evaluate that at this specific value of s. We can now find the magnitude of this transfer function when s equals to negative 3 plus minus 3.114j. So to do that, and I'll replace s here and calculate the magnitude. This gives 1 plus 2.5k. Now replacing s here gives a real part of negative 3 plus 4 squared and an imaginary part of 3.114 squared, and the square root of that now is the magnitude. And this is all divided by, except 1, of course, s now becomes 3 squared plus 3.114 squared, and we have s plus 5, so replacing s here, we have negative 3 plus 5, this is the real part, and the imaginary part is 4.114 squared and is square because this is square here. And this is now equal to zero. We can now simply solve for k, the simple math, and k is 7.32.